Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, this is an addendum to the previous video that I just made, and the reason why I um, am uh, and taking this video is to show you that this tweet that was just made right here literally shows you that the ACLU, ACLU National, ABC7, NBC San Diego, Dan Gillian, who's a lawyer in San Diego, KPBS News, Voice of San Diego, News 8, and 10 News Philip which is Preston Phillips of 10 News, have been sent a, uh, it says, click this tweet, scroll, SDPD, UCSD, whistleblower. Now, basically, when it's, you know how it's, you can see who it was sent to, but you can also see that there's directions pertaining to who was, who was sent the tweet. It says, click this tweet, scroll. Now, the tweet right now has already been clicked, which means it's already been pressed on, okay? As a result, you scroll it, and what will they witness as a result of scrolling? these other three tweets that are attached to it that hold a huge amount of evidence. So what I'll do is this hold, this is the third the, the third tweet of a three-part tweet chain that was posted before. As a result of them being contacted, all they gotta do is, in other words, like look, all right, now this is, I'm, I'm backtracking for a second. Now I want you to look at this. This is the tweet that I just composed right here, okay? It was composed in the reply section Okay, to this tweet, to these other three tweets, which were already made. As a result of this tweet being made and connected to the same chain, when they, and then sent, once this tweet was sent to these places, all they gotta do is see how it says, click this tweet, scroll, which I'm doing right now. As a result of clicking it, you're gonna be able to see that they're able to see, as a result of scrolling, these other three tweets that are connected to it. These other three tweets hold in a massive amount of evidence, which I've already just got done making a video concerning what it is per tweet. Now I'm gonna hold this video camera and each tweet, this is the, th uh, the last tweet of the three-part tweet chain, okay? So I'm gonna hold the video camera so you can just look at what the uh, URL's addresses are, okay? So you can go to them in order to be able to uh, witness what this evidence is. Okay, and um, uh, a couple of, this is YouTube videos here. Now the YouTube video that's in the third tweet is basically one of the videos that's already in the other two tweets. So I know you can't see its full URL address here. Don't worry about it. At least I don't think you can. No, you can't. It's the one pertaining to, you can go to YouTube and type in learning to save a woman, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what is it? Uh, learning to save a woman catches library security guard admitting stage complaint can cause her to be banned. UCSD. Okay. And then the Instagram is a the Instagram pertaining to a video of me showing the ticket UCSD campus police gave me as a result of them coming to my hiking area on August 27, 2014 to evict me from it three miles off campus. Okay. And then just look at these, uh, all you have to do is look at these URLs in order to be able to bring up what the evidence is attached in these tweets so you can see what it is. That one right there, the very top one, right at, right underneath where it says exposing, exposes this huge amount of evidence is a WordPress blog. So type that in, you should be able to bring it up by typing it in at uh, uh, any URL engine, uh, uh, any URL box in any search engine. And the second one is an Instagram showing individuals verbally harassing me, saying gang stalk and threatening me and saying gang stalk as they're doing it. Now, so just, uh, uh, here's the blog right here. Now, the reason why I'm going out of my way to show you this blog, go, you can go to Google and type, in fact, let me just backtrack for a second. The best way to bring it up is to actually go back to Twitter because it appeared, the blog appears on my phone a little bit differently in reference to how it looks than it does. It than it does if you were to just go and and uh, uh, look, well, let me just show you what I mean. All right, I'm clicking on the blog link now that is in the. Hold on, I'm I'm showing you that I'm clicking on the blog link now in the first tweet. As a result, the browser has been brought up, and as a result, the blog will come up. Now this is how it appears on the internet. In reference to going to WordPress on my phone and then clicking on the blog, it it physically appears different. In reference to its its uh, its borders and fonts. Now, basically, what this says, I don't know why that line is appearing there, okay? But basically, what it says is this. That's the title of the blog right there, okay? 
okay now actually this is the title of the blog but the actual what it says here is at the top of it in reference to the blog address is UCSD gang stalking 2014 human trafficking because gang stalking is directly connected to human trafficking so this is go to you can go to Google and type this in and then, you, then you'll be able to bring up the blog now as far as it being and there's a huge amount of evidence in it huge trust me now to witness what the blog looks like as a result of me bringing it up through WordPress on my phone okay is this is how it looks as a result of it being brought up through WordPress on my phone it looks a little bit different physically but it's the same exact blog okay this is how it looks when it's it brought up through WordPress on my phone oh hold on okay so uh, that way you can see that uh oh uh -oh. alright so I gotta bring it up on my phone uh -oh. excuse me alright so I just clicked on it so it's, it's getting ready to open up so you'll be able to see what it looks like as a result of the blog being brought up through WordPress on my phone so it looks different but it's the same blog alright so the point being is that uh why is it taking forever to come up all right hold on all right so here it is right here that's what it looks like pertaining to how it comes up on my phone uh excuse that part right there <laughs> it says assholes anyways all right so just check it out uh so basically uh now what i'm going to do is go back to the tweet so you can hear the instagram that is in the first uh in the in the uh, first tweet of a, of this four, it is now a four part tweet chain, which means all the tweets are connected, chained together. Now I want you to listen to this. Okay, uh, this is an audio file, a section of an audio file, because Instagram only allows you to post a 15 second long video. So I uploaded to Instagram video a 15 second segment of an event that was caught on a tape recorder okay this type of tape recorder right here okay the event occurred on thanksgiving day right across the street from this area 2013 do you hear these men say gang stalk together uh, uh, excuse me gang stalking and then gang is stalking i'm gonna fuck you up Once you bring up that Instagram, you'll be able to see these statements right below it. Getting around me and repeating gang stalk, oh my god, gang stalk weird, gang stalk crazy is their way to let me know that I'm being gang stalked because they got to know where I'm at and who I am to do it. Now, this one right here, pay close attention to these links. Again, I just got done literally making a video thoroughly explaining and proving what is in each one of these tweets. The subject matter of this video is to show that these places were sent a tweet that allows them to be able to see these three tweets of evidence. So it's my way of proving that other people have been notified pertaining to what's happening to me and evidence that supports it. Now, organized stalking, gang stalking, which is the same crime, just goes by multiple different names. One of their techniques is to engage in what is known as computer hacking cell phone hacking, cyber surveillance, and a slew of other things they do as a result of them hacking into our phones, hacking into our computers, hacking in and, and, and monitoring our internet activity. And this is done by them for a, but not limited to, a threat assessment and or a benefit analysis. Benefit analysis being that if, I, if a target is doing anything that might benefit them, okay? Uh, or a threat assessment okay by them monitoring what a target is doing are they uh, assessing what they're doing in order to uh, be able to deliberate is if it's a threat to them or not so as a result of them seeing that I'm posting things online twit tweets that I have made at this location have literally disappeared before my eyes on my phone okay and um, so what I'm gonna do is just basically uh, prove to you the date that this was sent 9:23 a.m. On, on October 14th, 2014. You can see as a result of that tweet being uh, clicked on, and the date shown that these three tweets are attached to it. 
because that's why it says click this tweet and scroll. The, t the tweet was clicked, which means it was pressed on. It was brought up. As a result of it being brought up, you can then scroll, and then you're able to see the evidence that's attached to it, okay, which is a tweet chain. Now, they see that these places are being contacted, okay? That's right. They perceive that as a threat. Not just because it's a threat to them as a result of these places being contacted, but if anything happens concerning me, about me, around me, towards me, against me, or any of my property, it'll show that I exposed evidence to these places pertaining to indisputable evidence that I'm being gang stalked. Like that one small segment you just heard of those two men saying gang stalk, then one said gang stalking, and then that same one said gang of stalking, I'm going to F you up. Okay? I played the longer segment of that event to a San Diego police officer on September 5th, 2014, right in front of the law library, and he claimed he couldn't hear, he claimed he could not hear it being said. Okay, that's right. Now, the blog itself that is attached in these tweets holds a huge amount of evidence of gang stalk, oh my God, gang stalk weird, gang stalker, oh my God, gang stalking, oh my God, gang stalk crazy, gang stalk weird, being said in that way along all my routes, everywhere I go, every single day, on some days nonstop. Okay, he was just caught again yesterday on bus route 201 that I caught at UCSD. I got off the 41 bus from going to do my laundry. I'm sorry, bus route. I got off the 30 bus route from going to do my laundry. And uh, I got off it at UCSD. And as I'm waiting for the bus to come, well, as I'm waiting for the bus to come, what I did was I'm standing there. And so I made a discreet statement in my tape recorder. I said, let's see if anybody says gang stalk. Oh, my God. And then as soon as I got on the 201 bus with a, a whole bunch of UCSD students, some girls who were put on the bus that got on the bus with me who went and sat towards the back were constantly repeating, oh my God, and gang stalk was hurt as well. Now that's, what, that's their way to mentally harass me about me being a victim of this crime by reminding me that I'm a victim of this crime by sensitizing a person to words, phrases, physical gestures, and more, and then placing individuals along the target individual's route on a daily basis everywhere they go and having them repeat what the target has been sensitized to. Repeating words, phrases, physical gestures is all over the internet in reference to that being a methodology of gang stalking. It's basically psychological harassment, psychological battering, um, definitely conspiring to do it because they gotta, they gotta know where I'm at and who I am to do it. Tracking, surveillance, and stalking, because they gotta know where I'm at and who I am to do it. Which are all felonies. You know, you can go to YouTube right now and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids and you'll literally witness a gang stalking victim being covered on the news, okay? I found out uh, a few months ago that they en ended up making that guy homeless and that uh, a police officer that's, oh, yeah. A police officer that's in that video, in that news broadcast, literally states gang stalking is a felony. The news, uh, the news anchor personnel who are actually doing the news broadcast flat out states that gang stalking is a felony in the state of California. So why would law library employees, okay, tell me gang stalking is not a crime? Why would SDPD tell me that gang stalking is not a crime? Why? I'm a little curious about that, okay? So, the point being is this, is that in gang stalking expeditions, the whole goal for the syndicated cops, uh, excuse me, the library employees that they use, you can go to Google and type in libraries and gang stalking, it's all over the internet. Library security guards and gang stalking as well. Uh, you gotta remember, in this tweet chain that I just showed you is a YouTube video of a library security guard at UCSD admitting that a staged complaint can cause me to be banned. And they just staged a, uh, an event at the law library on September 5th. That's why I was talking to a cop. I called them. Alright, I gotta go. I'm in San Diego, California. I live in La Jolla. Gang stalking is directly connected to human trafficking. Go to Google and type in gang stalking space human trafficking. Hit enter and then look at what comes up. Even a YouTube video that says similarities between gang stalking and human trafficking. So, are they steering me to hiking areas as a result of me being evicted from here by UCSD campus police to isolated wooded areas where I can be robbed, raped, assaulted, all three or worse? I'm predicting it now on today's date. As you can see, today's date is... 
October 14, 2014.